from brain fog. It was like uh, the flu on steroids. To fatigue and trouble breathing. I could not draw in any air whatsoever. Living a month on a ventilator, Clarence Troutman is now COVID free, but he knows surviving the disease was just the beginning. It was almost in some ways like being a newborn baby. There's a lot of retraining, strengthening, and a whole process to get people back to living their lives. It was just really took a lot of intensive rehab. Doctors found that many patients need a team of therapists to relearn how to walk, talk, and even problem solve as the disease attacks every organ from the lungs to the heart to the brain. Being on a ventilator for an extended period of time causes muscle wasting. It affects multiple organ systems. A recent study showed a majority of survivors had inflammation in the heart, which can lead to cardiac disease and heart failure. Strokes are also a growing concern. We're seeing a lot of neurologic damage um, with people that have had COVID disease and a lot of blood clots. University of Colorado Hospital was one of the first facilities to begin actively rehabbing patients that are still COVID positive. Clarence started his rehab just three days after being off the ventilator. We had to kind of bring everything back a step at a time. Five months later. Things are coming around slowly but surely. I'm Marty Salt reporting.